I absolutely hate Saniderm. All right, hate is a strong word, but to be honest with you, I am not a huge fan of the Saniderm way of healing a tattoo. Now, I have personally never used Saniderm to heal up any of my tattoos, but I have seen some jacked up tattoos of people that use Saniderm not only was it jacked up, but it was pretty scary. Now I get a ton of comments of people asking me what I personally think of Saniderm. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you why I personally will never use Saniderm. Okay, so the first reason why I would personally never use Saniderm is because I have seen some really bad allergic reactions due to Saniderm's adhesive. Now I've heard for the longest time of people getting allergic reactions due to the Saniderm adhesive. But with that said, there was two times in my life where I physically saw it happening in real time. And it was pretty scary. Both situations were at the tattoo convention. One was my girlfriend and the other one was one of my best friends. At the tattoo convention, my girlfriend decided to get a really small tattoo on the back of her forearm area and the artist that she went to used Saniderm. About an hour went by and as we're walking around the convention, she stated that her new tattoo is itchy. I thought that was pretty weird because a new tattoo, as soon as you get it, shouldn't really be that itchy. And then when I looked at it, I noticed that her tattoo and everything around her tattoo was like beet red. So red that I knew that this wasn't just from getting the actual tattoo. I recommended her to remove the Saniderm and let that tattoo air out a little bit because it did not look good. And as we're removing the Saniderm off the new tattoo, we notice boils literally all over it and all around it. Now after about a day of her removing the Saniderm, the tattoo looked normal and she just had like a little bit of like a burn mark around the tattoo from the adhesive, but it pretty much went back to normal. All the boils were gone and it went back to what a tattoo should look like during that time. And it makes me think of what damage could have been done to her tattoo or herself if she left that Saniderm on. A similar situation happened to my friend Sean at another tattoo convention. He got a new tattoo, walked over to a Saniderm booth that they had at the convention and had them apply it. Within 45 minutes, his skin was beat red, it was leaking a lot, and also he started developing pimples over the new tattoo. It almost resembled an infection. I personally thought it did not look good and recommended him to go talk to the people at the Saniderm booth. So as he went over there, even the Saniderm employees recommended him to remove the wrap and, and we, we went on our merry way. Once we got home, he washed the tattoo like normal with the antibacterial soap and applied the Aquaphor. And within a day or two, the rash went away, but he still had that like burn mark that I talked about earlier around the tattoo. Not on it, around it. Okay, the second reason why I would personally never use Saniderm is because of the way you have to remove the product. So let's say that you use Saniderm. Everything went fine, you didn't get any allergic reaction to the adhesive, but now it's time for you to take it off. Most artists instruct clients that wanna use Saniderm to keep the first sheet on for about a day or two. Then after that, you wanna wash it and then apply another sheet of Saniderm and leave that on anywhere from around three to seven days. Now, according to some people, when it comes time to remove that first film, it could be a really painful process. And some people say it even ruined their tattoo because as they're removing the Saniderm off said new tattoo, it could extract ink and it will make it look ruined. Due to how Saniderm sticks to the skin, People often describe removing the film as ripping a piece of duct tape off sunburned skin. And that does not sound fun at all. Okay, so number three sounds like something from a scary movie. When you get a new tattoo, your body produces this thing called plasma, and it's a clear or sometimes white substance. When you go and use Saniderm, all of that liquid can be trapped underneath of the second skin causing those ink blob, ink pouches, or whatever you wanna call it, that you see a lot of people playing with and posting about online. Now, for the most part, those ink sacs, they can be beneficial to your new tattoo for the healing process. It can keep it moisturized, and that plasma that I mentioned earlier is your body, your skin, trying to repair itself, so it can be beneficial. But according to some tattoo artists, including my own, that use Saniderm, those ink sacs can cause a really bad reaction to your skin. For example, my tattoo artist Matt, he is a fan of Saniderm and he says when it works, it does a great job at healing a tattoo. However, there's been situations that have happened to his clients 
when using Saniderm that he stated were so bad that he's never gonna recommend using Saniderm to heal a tattoo ever again. He stated that he would complete the tattoo, wash it, apply the Saniderm, everything was all nice and clean, but then he would get woken up at like two in the morning from his client, sending him a picture of the tattoo that he completed with the Saniderm on it, to it being like all swollen and like black and blue. Then he would instruct them to immediately remove the Saniderm and go back to the more traditional way of healing a tattoo with the antibacterial soap and the aquaphor. And he stated within a couple of days, the tattoo was right back to normal again. But it scared the absolute crap out of not only him, but his client. And he stated that that was more than enough convincing to never use Saniderm again. Okay, so number four, if you have any type of bacteria on that tattoo and then apply the Saniderm to it, you're pretty much screwed. The product is meant to keep everything in and not allow anything to get out. So if you were to go and not properly wash that tattoo, say before you're going to put that second film on that we talked about earlier, you're gonna be trapping bacteria onto that tattoo and it will most likely cause a really bad infection. The bacteria is gonna be trapped, and what's it gonna do? It's gonna multiply. If you are someone that wants to use Saniderm, be sure to wash that tattoo thoroughly before applying that next sheet, just to eliminate that bacteria. Look, I know that there are people that swear by Saniderm, and who knows, maybe one day I will decide to use it to heal up one of my tattoos. But I want to know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts on Saniderm? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Have you tried it before? Leave a comment below and let me know. Now, if you want to know how I heal up all of my tattoos, check out this playlist right here. And if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.